Okay, so after the introduction, we see what it's like on Vulcan. And I notice it's a very harsh climate. And I wonder, does that tie in with our personalities? So very, very sparse, very stark. Yep. So we see the cliffs here, or the, the rocks, not cliffs. We see the, the mountain and it's just bare. It's not like lush and green and full of life. Even their transportation isn't like hustle and bustle like Los Angeles, lots of cars going different directions. They're like single monorail. And yeah, even out here, I mean, like we see further away into the mountains and it's just barren, really just dry, like hard to survive in this climate. And I think that's why they have these upside down buildings, maybe speculation. I don't know, mm -hmm. but these are really interesting because why, I mean, why, what are, what are the advantages or disadvantages of building these buildings from the bottom of a pride rock <laughs> formation? Oh, pride rock. Yeah. The giant pride rock, I guess. I mean, if you have materials that are good under tension, which I guess is. So tension steel. is pulling. Yeah. Yeah. And you have the space then if you can build buildings under tension instead of under compression, might as well. I don't see any disadvantage to doing tension instead of compression. So we build here on earth in compression with concrete because mm -hmm. concrete is very, very good against crushing. Yeah. But also then it's also very, it's relatively brittle. So you also build in rebar in the structures out of steel so that way your building can withstand crushing and stretching and so that way with the wind it can flex mm -hmm. a little bit but not mm -hmm. fall apart and so you're saying here these vulcans i guess have very strong against stretching material mm -hmm. i thought Which it was I guess also oh, go ahead. it's going to be steel right i mean steel you i think or we I learned I mean, steel is good under human. compression but it's even better under tension exactly right it does not stretch very well um yeah, I mean, or whatever Vulcan material, I mean, whatever Vulcan materials they have. I thought, I thought this was clever for two reasons. One is because you naturally get a sun barrier. Like if we look here on the mm. surface, it's this super barren. There's all these buildings down here are just directly getting sunlight. And, and I guess also, also, uh, is this good for cleaning? Cause you can like wash the floor up here at the top. And then just as the water goes down, eventually you just vent it out the bottom, like super easy to clean. Oh, so yeah. But looking at this harsh planet, I wondered like is is that why Vulcans are super dry? I mean, I mean, okay, dry, dry because it's dry climate. I mean, dry because like when you're in a climate that requires group cohesion in order to maintain your food resources to, mm -hmm. to manage it, you can't be so wasteful, and so you can't just be like flippant and having fun and throwing things away. You got to be you got to be careful. You got to be careful with your resources and so does that cre does that create does the restriction of resources caused by the harsh climate create a culture where people are very dry i think this is a theory of like human development where cultures that grew grew up came about developed in, develop. yeah. developed in harsh climates because group cohesion is essential like you can't even live there if you don't have it that has effects on personalities and group dynamics that if somewhere is plentiful, they don't have those, they have different personality traits. Right. So it would make sense that Vulcans have a particular personality set and group dynamic set of behaviors because of, gosh, there's not even any vegetation. Where I mean, do you get maybe water? Maybe out here, maybe, I mean, it's just too far to see, but mm -hmm. definitely where this city is built is just barren. Just it's got to be hard to live here. And and looking at the whole of oh, the overview of the planet, I'm not seeing any green. Like I think I, I think I got pictures of this. That looks pretty barren. It's pretty barren. Yeah, so you can't have people having water fights, having fun, you know, water balloons, right. squirt guns, super soakers. Like no, 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 no. Like be serious. Logic says we should not be messing around with the resources. Tighten up. Even things, about. even things like hunting, hunting and gathering, mm -hmm. like, where would you do that? I, I got more sand. Like I gotta Logic be Logic dictates, eat the sand, eat the sand. It's nutrients. Hmm. Like I can't even do that. I can't just wander around. I have to be very thoughtful about how I acquire even the basics. Mm -hmm. 
And so I think that would create a culture that's very logic driven because mm -hmm. there's just very little margin of error. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Explains a lot about France. <laughs>